Hey guys, welcome to another lunch interview. Today I'm going to try one of these Blake's uh, meals. This is the turkey and uncured bacon cottage pie. This one's new. It is made with mashed potatoes, cheddar cheese, and uncured bacon and corn. Um, it looks really good. I'm assuming that's cheese. It looks like carrots, but I think it's cheese. Uh, made from scratch since 1929. Turkey is raised without antibiotics, which is good. Minimally processed. That's good. Uh, gluten free. That's interesting. Um, this is worth three thirty-seven at Walmart, so that's where, where we happen to buy them. Calories aren't as bad as I thought they would be. Two hundred seventy calories um, for the whole thing, so that's not too awfully bad. And there's the other information for you. So you can do this in the oven if you want to, and it may be better in the oven. I don't know. We don't do ovens. We do microwaves, so I don't know. Um, so for the microwave, cook one at a time. Remove the box. Place on a microwave-safe plate. Cut a one inch slit in the center of the film. Cook on high for four and a half to five and a half. I'll probably just do, well, I might do five. I'll do five. Um, check the food is cooked thoroughly. Remove film and then eat it. So, so yeah, I'll do five just to be sure. Because I've never had one of these, it's, it's hard to tell. So there's the meal. It's in like a little package. It's wrapped in plastic. It's not um, just covered, it's wrapped. So I need to cut a little slit in here, get the microwave, and I'll be back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave, and uh, the plastic wasn't too hard to take off at all. I thought it would be difficult, but it wasn't. Um, it smells like bacon and cheese. That's what I mostly smell. And let me see if I can... You can see the corn, the mashed potatoes, the corn, and other stuff must be buried in there. Right there. Here it is. So, I'm going to let this cool off uh, just a little bit, and I'll be back. Okay, it's a little time to cool off, so here's the bottom I'm going to take. It has uh, mashed potatoes and the... Uh, the turkey and which looks like hamburger by the way um i'm hoping there's some bacon in there and some corn uh, the bacon's not in like bigger pieces so you really can't see it i'm hoping it's just kind of mixed in so but here we go i still didn't get the bacon well i got a little bit of a smoky flavor but but not a lot the um or it tastes like a smoky flavor. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I, I taste a little bacon in there, but I actually see bacon. The um, the corn stands out. The potato stand out. The meat is actually pretty good. Um, yeah, it's like a ground turkey. It really doesn't say that, but it's. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, it's it's good. It's not um, it's not spectacular. It's kind of it's kind of bland actually. Like I said, you get that the mashed potato flavor more than anything. Um, you taste a um, a little bit of the meat flavor, but but it's not a lot, a lot. And the corn stands out. You do get these little tough, like on the edges of the mashed potatoes, that are kind of um, chewy and tough. So just be aware of that around the edges, like this is like dried up around the edge right there. Um, I think that's some bacon. Hold on. Let's see if that's bacon or just browned uh, potatoes. It was just brown potatoes, which actually I like. That adds a little uh, scorch flavor to it. I like that flavor. Um, the bacon must be mixed in with the meat. That's all I can say. Because I know that's not all bacon. No, it must just be mixed in. Overall, the flavors are okay. They're not. They're not spectacular. I like the little brown edges, actually. Um, those are my favorite part. I actually add that little, uh, like I said, that little brown scorch-like flavor to it. So overall, not bad. I wish the meat had been seasoned a little bit better. Um, you know, had a little a little bit of a savory spice to it instead of just, just meat. Um, it would have been better. But overall, it's okay. It's not bad. Um, it's not a flavor. It's not something I would buy again to get um, because I usually like Blake's meals. This one's just kind of boring for me. So if you like kind of plain food, then this would probably be good for you. Um, there's no spice to it at all. So if you don't like spicy, you'd be perfectly fine with this one. Um, I'm going to give it a three and a half. It's just for me. It's just kind of boring. So I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching.